Ladies and gents, hello. Welcome to another vloggy vlog, as I am in Dumbo. And I'm approaching my motor bicycle. There it is. And guess what? <sighs> There's always something. The latest episode is my dials. See how they're all foggy? And yes, uh, I've replaced the dials. I've replaced the top before because it was cracked. Then I sealed it. And I have uh, silica pouches in the bottom uh, in there to keep the moisture out. But obviously, I need to replace them every year because they stop taking the moisture out. And when the moisture does not get to that out, that happens. And last time I was riding, it was even crazier because basically um, it was like madness. Um, the the high beam arm was on the oil light was on the blinkers were not flashing it was just like a fucking mess it was such a mess can't believe that fucking happened but anyway this bike is just starting to show its age starting to show its crankiness no go ahead bro go ahead. You got this, Mr. Q5. Mr. Q5. Which way are we gonna go? Mm, I'll go this way. Oh, brother. I can't believe this shit is happening to me. Let me go around. Those people were not happy with me. I'm pretty sure uh, there was uh, some uh, disappointment shown in the waving of the arms. But that's life. Ooh. Go ahead, bro. We going? Hey, 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 here we go. What is this vlog about? Absolutely fucking nothing. Uh, but tomorrow I'm actually, ooh, barbecue, what? Tomorrow I'm actually going uh, camping. And I had the invitation to go camping tonight, but I'm not so sure I'm going to take it because uh, the thing is I have to go upstate uh, the following day so I'm wondering if two nights of camping followed by actually being productive upstate might be a bit of a overwhelming situation you know what I mean you don't want to camp too much now it's easy to overdo it easy to overdo it here we go not sure what they were doing but I'm not here to find out is this person really gonna enter? no all good we're chilling <sighs> people are just kind of taking a sweet time and driving extremely gingerly i like it why is this thing bouncing about mta bridge and tunnel should be told i should go to that uh delhi in queens right now That Dell in Queens that makes those big ass sandwiches. Ah, what is it called? At the same time, I don't really need a big ass sandwich right now because I had a big ass sandwich yesterday. Oh, bad lane choice. Bad lane choice. Oh, it's perfect. So yeah, that's why part of me wants to go to uh, 
Nyack tonight. A, I haven't seen my bro Johnner in a minute. See how he's doing. And then, uh, I'm gonna be an hour closer to the campsite. I'm literally gonna be two hours away, 75 miles for tomorrow. So that's super nice. That's super fun. Oh boy. Lazy driving. Lazy driving. Never a dull moment on these streets. Look at the fucking distance this guy makes. Like, what are you doing, bro? Why are you shifting lanes? quick little maneuver you know had to had to do it to him had to do it to him we'll just chill chill back behind this Texas Lexus Lincoln I like this guy he's signaling from way back it's the new navigator too those are kind of adorable I gotta say I like them figured it out so as soon as I get home I got to take care of a little bit of work and then I'm gonna go and uh, um, I got to pack up my camping shit pick up my camping ship and then get ready to go and I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna stay in the city today or if I'm gonna go to Nyack I don't think I'm gonna go camping because that's a three and a half hour ride that's a little bit far I mean since I'm leaving the city at uh, five or six it might be too far plus I'm gonna get there it's gonna start getting dark putting up a tent in the dark mm. I mean it would be fun to chill but it's all good all gravy. All right, boys and girls. I wish I could put this bike out. Not sure what she was doing. Um, looking for parking, probably. But I'll talk to you guys later.